Hi everyone, welcome back to Higher Study Prep. We are back with the 1000 High Frequency Vocabulary Series. We're going to go through different words, their mnemonics, synonyms and antonyms and finish with a paragraph or story to combine all the words that we have learned today. Feel free to stop the video at any point and revise the slides as necessary. Today's first word is exonerate, which is a verb which means to release or absolve someone from a duty or obligation or a blame. An example of this word can be, Mr. Austin was exonerated of the crime and released from prison after the real criminal had confessed. In order to remember this word, we can break up exonerate as exempt to honorate, that is, free from an obligation to honor again. Synonyms of the word exonerate can be acquit, exculpate, absolve, or discharge, whereas antonyms could be charge, sentence, or convict. Effrontery, it's a noun, which means insolent or impertinent behavior. An example is, Mr. Red has shown such an effrontery attitude toward everyone that he earned the nickname Mr. Rude. The mnemonic for remembering the effrontery. So in order to remember this word, we can break it apart as F plus front plus airy and combine this F front to think of another word affront, which means insult, and think of airy as very. So it means very rude and insulting. Synonyms for the word effrontery can be impudence, temerity, audacity whereas the antonyms could be pudency, politeness. Dissemble, it's a verb which means to conceal or disguise one's true feelings or beliefs. An example can be, Mr. Parker tried to dissemble his real motivation for taking loan, but the banker knew that he was planning on not returning the money after all. Mnemonic for remembering the word dissemble. In order to remember, we can break it apart as this, which means not, and symbol, which means seems or appears to be. So overall, it means that does not seem or apparent truly. Some synonyms to remember the word by can be dissimulate, deceive, pretend, feign, or counterfeit. Whereas antonyms for the word can be expose, be honest, be genuine, or disclose. Dispute. This word can be used as either a verb or a noun. When it's a verb, it means argue about something, or when it's a noun, it means a disagreement. An example, Mr. Red disputed the claim of Mr. Black that there were five sticks on the ground when Mr. Black asserted that there were seven sticks. The mnemonic of the word dispute can be broken down as disagree to compute. Some synonyms to remember the word dispute by can be debate, argue, disagree, gainsay. Whereas some antonyms can be agree, concur, or assent. Contentious is an adjective, means causing or likely to cause an argument or involvement in heated argument. Example. The goalkeeper became so contentious that the referee threw him out of the game, showing the red card. The mnemonic for remembering the word contentious. It can be broken down as contender plus serious, or we can remember by one who takes competition too seriously, always fights and quarrels. Synonym for the word contentious can be controversial, disputable, debatable. Whereas, antonyms can be uncontroversial or indisputable. Divest. It's a verb meaning to deprive someone of power, rights, or possession. Example, children of the village were divested of food because of the famine brought out by the recent drought. Mnemonic for remembering the word divest. We can break it apart as die plus vest which means to confer or bestow right, authority, power, or property on someone. So die plus vest means deprive anyone of being vested. Some of the synonyms to remember the word divest by can be 
deprive or disposes whereas antonyms can be invest endow or donate prevaricate it's a verb which means to speak or act in an evasive way or lie example some people believe that to prevaricate for a good cause is justifiable and regard such misleading prevarications as white lies the mnemonic for remembering the word prevaricate we can break it apart as prevent the veracity or truth to fabricate or falsify or in easy way lie the synonym for the word prevaricate can be tergiversate palter equivocate and some antonyms can be affirm asseverate vacillating it's an adjective meaning wavering between different options or actions or irresolute example in a vacillating condition it's difficult to take a firm decision robin wavered between different options and vacillated in deciding the right path the mnemonic for remembering word, the word vacillating can be value of being fluctuating or indecisive some synonyms for vacillating are indecisive fluctuating dithering whereas some antonyms can be resolute determined or resolved belligerence it's a noun which means aggressive or warlike behavior an example is the referee issued a red card to throw the goalkeeper out of the game because of his tone of belligerence and aggressive attitude on the field the mnemonic for remembering wo- the word belligerence can be behavior full of aggressive violence some synonyms of the word belligerence are aggressiveness harshness defiance bellicosity whereas some antonym can be amiability geniality or placability misdemeanor it's a noun which means a minor wrongdoing an example can be the man was fined by the police officer for misdemeanor since he parked his bicycle on the footpath instead of the cycle stand the mnemonic of the word misdemeanor can be broken down as misconduct that demeans at a minor extent some synonyms of the word misdemeanor can be misdeed wrongdoing misconduct or peccadillo whereas some antonyms could be rectitude propriety or probity recalcitrant it's an adjective meaning having an obstinately uncooperative attitude for example mr smith's horse is so recalcitrant that he has never been able to ride it the mnemonic for remembering the word recalcitrant it can be broken down as recal plus citrant or reluctant or unwilling or resistant to obey that is stubborn some synonyms that may help you remember the word can be stubborn obdurate unwilling intractable unmanageable some antonyms of the word recalcitrant can be docile compliant amenable the next word is refractory which is adjective which also means stubborn or unmanageable resistant to a process for example most teenagers go through a refractory phase where they don't want to listen to their parents Mnemonic for remembering the word refractory could be resistant function and factory. Some synonyms for this word are disobedient, obdurate, obstinate, whereas some antonyms are obedient, tractable, manageable. Resolution, it's a noun, which means a firm decision to do or not to do something. For example, Nothing could shake the resolution of the gymnast to take the rock at the apex of the mountain. Mnemonic. For remembering the word resolution, we can break it up as resolved solution, that is a solution of a problem which is decided firmly on a course of action. Some synonyms to remember the word resolution by are determination, aspiration, firmness. Some antonyms are irresolution, indecision, vacillation or ambivalence recent 
It's a verb which means to revoke, cancel or repeal a law, order or agreement. One example could be because of the public outcry against the new taxes, the senator designed a bill rescinding the unpopular financial measure. The mnemonic for understanding the word rescind can be restrict and hind or hinder. Synonyms for the word rescind can be abrogate, repudiate, abolish, nullify or invalidate. Whereas the antonyms are enact, approve, ratify or validate. Opprobrium it's a noun which means harsh criticism or censure. For example, Mr. Gray refused to defend himself against the slander and opprobrium held against him by his colleagues. Rather, he preferred to rely on his record of veracity. Mnemonic for the word opprobrium can be broken up as up, pro, bri, um, and you can remember by this sentence. Oppression and criticism are brimmed in the medium. Some synonyms for the word opprobrium are vilification, condemnation, dishonor, criticism. Some antonyms are praise, honor, and acclaim. Now let's look at this paragraph or short story where we will be able to apply all the vocabulary words that we have learned so far. Try to remember all their meanings when you read this story. Mr. Austin was exonerated of the crime when the real criminal Jacob confessed. The classic example of unmitigated effrontery was that Jacob, who killed his friends, had asked the judge for mercy because he was an orphan and believed his act was a mere misdemeanor. The detective sat predicted that he would be the one to dissemble his motive while reporting. On the other hand, Austin was honest and did not dispute the truth of the report. Disagreeing with Austin's statement, Jacob became contentious, blaming Austin that he wanted to make him divested of his rights. Jacob tried to prevaricate in a vacillating belligerence. The recalcitrant attitude of Jacob had set a refractory image of him. So, the resolution of Austin led him to the threshold where the power of truth has rescinded the forged opprobrium. Thanks everyone for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to comment with your feedback. Thank you.